Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelechi, of course, you already know that and I am a Canva expert. I create attractive designs with Canva and I also create templates for clients. So if you need someone to create um, user-friendly, attractive templates for you, I am your guide. But that's not what we are here for today. Today I'm here to show you guys how I created their Dutch design. So I created this design a while ago and people have been asking me how did you do it and I am here to show you guys how I did it. Now I'm going to come over to my blank page which is this and the size I used for this design it's a 4000 by 5000 the height is 5000 and the width is 4000. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select a background and go back to photos. I think dark wall background, if I'm not mistaken. Is it this? Nope, nope, nope. It's not this. It's black. The mistake is from me it's not actually wall it's wood so it's dark wood background let's see if it's loading and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel why is it showing me offline please come back online please 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 Okay, so dark wood background. Trying to get the exact one that I used. But if I don't see it, I'm just going to I think it's this. I think it's this. Just to confirm so you know on the safe side. I need to copy this. to copy this and I'm going to paste it here and let's check the keyword the keyword so you can easily search for it black wood panel wow so the fault was from me black wood panel Okay, so black wood panel, black wood panel. I think it's this. It has to be one of this. It has to be one of this wood here. But because of time, let's just continue. Now the next thing I did was apply another go back to photos and search for smoke detail on black background. So this is it. So I'm just going to increase this, increase this, increase this, and then reduce the transparency a whole lot to so say somewhere around 30 and then bring this here and lock it so it doesn't change so we are here with our background set now the next now do is go to elements come over to shapes and select this particular shape increase it increase it Bring it to the middle. Is my okay? This is the middle. And then change this color to a lighter color, which is this. We're not done. 
go over to elements come over to frames select this okay just to be sure that we are on the right path then the image I used was a jollof rice so you can search for jollof rice image via photos but I already started so it will be easier for me to locate come back to start this is the image drag it over here come over then go over to elements come select the circle change the color to this particular color increase it increase it bring it increase it okay so i'm just trying to confirm to make sure everything stands out so we have this and we have this so what do we do next select duplicate this change the color to white so we have our text reduce it bring it reduce it a whole lot bring it here then apply the text add the text sorry go back to text food is ready Make it bold. I think it was a 162. Reduce the spacing it's too much. Yep. I think it's here. Reduce transparency. And also apply a shadow effect to this. Just increase the blur. Is offset so which is transparency and then we have our text for this ready over here so we're not done we're going to apply a shadow come over to k love k e l o v e i saved some elements here so that's what i'm looking for okay this is it this this is a circular shape the circle shape that I manipulate to give me a shadow of so this is it's here in the middle I believe I'm correct and then go back to edit image and search for blur i think the blur was somewhere around 50 and then the transparency should be 20 then take it to the back back yes so we have a shadow and now let's move over to the next item i even forgot to add our logo sorry on um, the logo search for a vegetarian food logo and i use this one bring it here to the middle always watch out for that change the color and then apply uh the business name the business name is k love foods and the font I used was Birds of Paradise. You cannot find this font in Canva. You're going to you have to download it from an external website. I don't know if Canva has it yet. Let's try. Okay, Canva does not have it yet, so you can download it. The font size was 424. Change the color to this. And so we have Killer Foods over here as the business name just it would seem okay moving on 
Now the next thing I did was after our logo and all, there are some images, some food images that I have saved, okay, in Canva. I think red. You can get it somewhere. Food images. Okay. So we have this. I used one, two, three, four for the designs. So I'm gonna select this one. Okay, bring it here. Select this one. I think this one was here. If I'm not mistaken. Then this one was down here. And then this one was here. So we have our four images for food images over here now i'm going to apply a theme i think oh, i use a think a lot sorry i'm looking <coughs> excuse me okay this is what i'm looking for so bring it over here it's actually a steam i downloaded it from an external website duplicate bring it over here okay duplicate bring it here now this one does not need it so just gonna leave that part out so we have our steam here 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 but not here Halo foods just to confirm, just like big, looking really, really big. So, lock this, going to lock this, going to lock this, going to So, um, we have this, 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 and we are almost done with this, we are almost done, just going to confirm. This design took me a while to come up with, it's crazy man. Okay. Now next I'm going to do, I'm going to add this text. I'm just going to copy it from here. Copy and I'm going to paste it here. Do the same. Copy this and paste it here. I forgot to add our uh, spices sorry 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 so i start those particular spices the tomatoes pepper and onion so i will go over to my start folder select these tomatoes bring it here it already came with its own shadow so bring it here 
and this pepper stay here then this one also this pepper to stay here and then mr onions is hiding somewhere okay this is mr onions bring mr onions here and apply this shadow duplicate this reduce it bring it somewhere here and place it just behind and then copy this copy this text to place an order visit because of time so i don't get to skip you here all day copy this one paste it here copy this also and paste it here so that was how i arrived at this design i know stressful yes it was for me the whole concept just came in and i decided to run with it please you can get these images a few of these images from an external website i couldn't find exactly what i was looking for in canva so i downloaded it from an external website the website name on splash.com so just go over there and search for whatsoever you want but all these onions the tomatoes the pepper and this i got them in canva okay so i got them in canva and then this text new way is stay long and this one to the same thing just this font that it's a bit of paradise which is an a font i downloaded from an external website that font.com you should see it so i just told you guys a website where you can download fonts and also a website where you can download png images so with this information please i would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my youtube channel and if you're interested in getting a canva course which i have you will see the link in the description of this video you can just click on it if you're interested and if you want me to create templates for you you can also reach out to me my whatsapp my email is in the description so for now bye bye and thank you guys i love you